Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com. I've been using tablets for about 10 years, so when Windows 8 Consumer Preview came out, it didn't take me too long to uh, decide to install it on one of my old tablets. So this is one from before the original iPad came out. And we're going to take a look at a few things and maybe compare it a little bit to Windows Phone. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we have Windows 8 Consumer Preview installed on my old HP TouchSmart TM2. And right away we see some similarities to Windows Phone 7. Uh, you got the clock, it's pretty big there. This is the lock screen. We have the date, we have a signal strength, battery level, calendar. Uh, messages and emails will show up here as well. And just like uh, Windows Phone, you swipe it up. But now we have a picture lock screen. So there we go, and here's your start screen. And you can tell it looks a lot like Windows Phone. We have tiles, and they're moving and flipping around. You can see that there. Uh, but there's one big difference. This is a much larger screen. So Windows Phone was designed to be one-handed. I can flick through and see everything like that. It's very easy, all in one hand. Tablets are not like that. These are much larger. Usually you're probably going to hold it with the left hand, or one hand, like so, and maybe interact, it with, interact with it with your other hand, or maybe hold it with both hands. So that's why we have Windows 8's interface is much different. So see, if I'm holding it with this hand, I just swipe like that, and I get some controls or I swipe like this and I'm flicking through different apps and if I swipe and then swipe back this is a very cool feature thumbnails of all the running programs so you can very easily switch to whatever you want this weather app is a little slow starting up sometimes. But we have the panoramic view again. This is similar to some Windows Phone hubs. So very smooth, very nice looking. So I can share things with anything that supports the share menu. I don't have much here yet. So let's look at the browser. This is much smoother than previous versions of Windows on tablets, Windows 7. I think it's a little more choppy than the developer preview of Windows 8, however. But you can see it's very smooth. And you'll also see there's no Chrome, there's no controls for anything you have to swipe. There's my address bar. I can pin this to the start menu. I can check out different tabs. There's a little menu for a couple uh, features. And always we can switch very easily. Now let's check out the Xbox stuff. There's some very nice Xbox integration. There's my avatar. Recent games. A lot of cool stuff from Windows Phone is coming into Windows 8. Here's the Xbox companion. We'll see if it works. So now this is connected to my Xbox. And it's similar to the Xbox companion on Windows Phone. We can do some browsing and we can launch games straight to the Xbox from here. You're also supposed to be able to play music, but it doesn't seem to work right now. But this is the music app and it looks really nice. Actually, this is the companion app doing the music stuff. The actual music app looks really nice too, and it looks uh, very much Xbox designed. Not so much Zune. 
but uh, you'll see a little bit of remnants of zoom. So there's your music app. Very cool design. Also notice the people tile here is integrated with Facebook. It's also integrated with LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Exchange. All that is supported right in the People Hub. Uh, messaging also supports Facebook and Windows Live Messenger. So that's really nice to have. Very cool. Of course there's SkyDrive, and that'll load some SkyDrive stuff. Maps is another cool feature. Again, same kind of name, naming convention as Windows Phone. And it works really nicely. Now all this full screen metro stuff is uh, fun and whatnot, but if you want to get some real work done, we can always go into the desktop and get to uh, any kind of real program. So here's uh, Premiere Pro, we can do some video editing. This interface is ob obviously not optimized for touch, however. <laughs> so I gotta pull out the stylus, and of course that's pretty easy. And if I want to design a exhibit with some 3D graphics that's very easy to do of course better with a stylus because obviously these buttons are very tiny same Photoshop is here I can do whatever I want here so some very powerful programs are still uh, accessible on this tablet even though we have a very nice Windows Phone touch tablet interface so overall, I have been extremely impressed with the new interface for Windows 8 for tablets. Uh, with Windows 7, I was quite content with the touch interface on that operating system, but with this, it just brings a whole new level of ergonomics and ease of use. And I really like that they went this direction instead of making a, you know, kind of a dumbed down operating system, like, you know, putting Windows Phone on a tablet because I still have access to all these great programs like Adobe Creative Suite and Office 2010, you know, the full programs. Uh, granted, they're more difficult to use, you gotta pull out the stylus, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> and if you don't want to use those, you can just use this great new Metro interface for all sorts of things. You know, great integration. So that's Windows 8 Consumer Preview First Impressions. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and that's it for now.